Hey there folks, welcome to another um, episode of Yogi Dave's Hobby Corner um, In this one I'm going to talk about the back type figures that I'm going to paint for uh, a couple of videos showing you the paint schemes and what have you um, for various different um, factions and units in the universe So, hold on, I'll be back in a minute Welcome back folks, so now we're going to explain to you what I'm going to do with the Battletech figures uh, that I got ages ago and I'm going to paint for the, to show you the schemes of various um, Battletech factions um, so what I'm going to do uh, is a unit, a lance um, from the Draconis Combine, a lance from the Free World League, a lance from Comstar, a lance from the Capellan Confederation, um, a lance from the Federated Sons and the Lighter and Commonwealth. So that's six lances um, for the six um, major Inner Sphere factions. Um, there's all, there's like periphery factions as well that have got some nice schemes, but. Um, I wanted to do like the big ones um, and these are probably the mechs that I'll use um, in some battle reports before they all get raffled off um, in one of the raffles for painted figures and, and what have you that we're going to do for the channel um, just to give us money to fund the channel it's not not much money. Um, I've got I've got a video that's gonna be up um, sometime soon, or it might have already been up. Um, that's gonna talk about it. Uh, so I won't get back into here. What I'll get into is the mix. So um, probably not a great video, but I'll switch the camera around in a minute um, and show you them. Basically, this is the atlas from the box. It's not the greatest pose, um, not the greatest figure, but when they get when they get painted well they look really nice because I've done them and these ones are actually a particularly good um, casting of them. I got a fairly shocking casting of them um, because it's that injection molding, it's not the, it's not the injection molding plastic I don't think, it's that crappy stuff that the SK figures and the Airfix figures and everything was made with, you know, like a plastic toy soldiers you go when you were little. You know, that's the kind of plastic they're made of, so not that great. <laughs> what you really need to do with them is, like, wash them in soapy water. I think I've actually done that already, because I was planning on painting them at some point. Wash them in soapy water, um, dry them off, and then undercoat them. Like, a decent undercoat. Um, I'll probably use the airbrush and use the polyurethane stuff that I've got. Um, so I'll make them easier to actually make it easier to actually um, thingy them the, the models. Like, actually get the paint to stick on the models, and I will like cover them in a, a varnish um, at some point or when they're finished. Um, so. In the um, the lances, I've actually decided what I'm going to do with each lance um, and with each uh, faction. So, in the Draconis Combine, I'm going to do the Jenna, the Panther, the Atlas and the Grasshopper um, they're all fairly Draconis Combine um, and Comstars um, I'm going to do the Battlemaster uh, the awesome 
the Cyclops and the Banshee. So that's going to be it. That's going to be a heavy lance from the from Comstar. So that well, was nicely more like an assault lance, but and Baltic. Battle makes all come in four. Look, the original battle tech comes in four different weight classes. You get light, medium, heavy, and assault. Assault's the heaviest ones, obviously. Um, so, but um, with these figures, I think Jenner and the Panther, who are both fairly draconis combine. Um, Like the Panthers, pretty much Draconis Combine light mix. So is the Jenna. Then you get the Grasshopper, which is a heavy and Alice, which is a, an assault. So there's no medium mix in there for the um, Draconis Combine. For the Draconis Combine, we have the Grasshopper, the Atlas, the Panther, and the Jenna. For the Lyra and Commonwealth, we have the Commando, the Whitworth, the Hunchback, and the Zeus. For Comstar, we have the Banshee, the Battlemaster, the Awesome, and the Cyclops. For the Federate Sons, we have the Dervish, we have the Enforcer. We have the Clint and we have the Spider for the Compelling Confederation. We have the Jaegermick, the Catapult, the Vindicator, and the Assassin. For the Compelling Confederation, we have the Kikeda, the Hermes II, the Trebuchet, and the Quick Draw. So this is the better plastic um, figures that I've got one of here. Um, so this guy's called the Mad Cat um, or the Timberwolf. So the Inner Sphere call him the Mad Cat. The Clan's called him the Timberwolf. Now this is um, kind of a total mix for Clan Wolf. So I'm going to paint him um, as one of the character um, characters from Clan Wolf's um, personal mech. And I'm going to do them uh, on like a, a nice base. I'm going to use him as, as like one of the raffle pieces as well, probably. Or I might keep him myself. I'm not decided yet. Um, depends on how he looks. If he looks cool. Um, if he looks really cool. Then I'll probably raffle more for somebody to get. Um, so yeah. That's um, all about the tech figures. Um, so I'll turn my camera around. And oh, we talk, yeah. Mm. Right, so um, that is the Battletech figures um, that I'm going to be painting. So, as I said, you know, before I'll probably do the Draconis Combine and the Sword of Light um, one of the elite units um, which is red they're, they're all like red colours um, I'll do the Comstar obviously Comstar's white so I'll do white for them um, I'll probably do Capellan Confederation the Capellan Confederation ones in a green camel or a green colour scheme because they're Parade ground colours are all green. Um, haven't decided what I'll do with the Federate Sons or the Free World League or um, any of that. Rest of them. Haven't decided who I'm going to paint the um, Mad Cat for either. Um, might not even be um, a Clan Wolf uh, character. I'm pretty sure um, one of the 
Icon, Jade Falcon characters, Lord the Timber or uh, Timber Wolf. Um one of the Pride um blood name characters. I think he was actually in one of the sets of books. Jason Freed, can't remember. I'm off the top of my head. I might do a wee bit after this. <laughs> when I find out and go, right, it's actually this person. I might do his mic, but I don't know. Depends. So, uh, to wrap this up, um, I've decided what mechs are get painted and what um, unit colours, or uh, what um, faction colours. Um, I'm going to do, they're going to all get um, or, uh, raffled off at the end of it. Um, do my Timberwolf um, as a character Timberwolf so I'm not sure which one yet but it will be one and I hope you you tune in when I do do it when you do do it um, at some point I'm going to pull out some um, stuff that's already painted and show you the difference between how it is now you know, the difference in the, the paint and schemes and everything um, maybe yeah, so um, that is pretty much all the battle tech stuff seen the pack you've seen the video of each make what they're gonna be um, painted um you haven't seen what unit they're gonna get painted yet but you know when I actually do it um you'll see um also the timber wolf that will be painted as a character's timber wolf um don't know what I'm going to do with the um, insignia. I have got decal or um, transfer paper. I can make my own transfers, but I really want 3D printed ones for like the sides. Even though you can barely see them, I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm trying to find find a way of there, there is like insignias for the combine. Um, like all the the five inner sphere um, successions, successor states, but the big ones I think. So I'm going to have a look and see whether or not I can print them down um, and be able to put them in the mix. Probably not, and it's probably a little bit much for uh, a 3D printer to handle those tiny little things, but. I'm gonna look at it, and if I can, I'll do it. It'll probably just be transfers. I need to find the transfer paper and um, sort that out. Um, I used to have a whole of them, but they were a bit crap. Um, and I've got better since I had them. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna say goodbye. Happy hobby. <laughs>